isn't very often that anyone accuses Uncle Sam of being a rustler. That is, of buying or handling stolen cattle. But during the Cuban War in 1898, there was a case in Wyoming where it looked like the government was caught dead to rights with a whole stockyard full of stolen cattle. That's a pretty prime lot of beef there, Pat. Looks like they wondered well. Yeah. We need every last one of them, too. Help feed the people of Cuba and our army. Understood they're bought and paid for. That's right. Why don't we just ship them to Cuba? Not as simple as that. Seems the government buyer, Floyd Peterson, paid one rancher for them, and then another rancher claimed they were rustled from him. Well, that's a new one. Government buying stolen property, eh? Yeah, let's find out about it. Gallagher? Yes, sir, I'm Gallagher. This is my partner. I'm Tony Crockett. I'm Floyd Peterson. It's a good thing you're here. He's already inside waiting. He's been giving me a bad time. Who is? Tom Owens, the man who claims that I bought a herd that was rustled from him. Well, this is a terrible fix. Fifteen years working for the government, and now this. Well, didn't you check what you were buying, Mr. Peterson? Of course I did. I've made hundreds of deals and never a hitch. I went to Noonan's ranch, inspected the herd, examined the brand. I, I even checked the registration. Everything was in order. Well, does uh, he have any evidence? I'm afraid he does. We'd better go and have a little talk with Mr. Owens. You see, my brand is a Circle 7 outside. I brought it down from the ranch. Now, we picked up a stray along the trail the herd was driven. One of my boys took the hide. Now, you can see for yourself the brand has been changed. But it couldn't be. No. Add a loop to my brand, cross a line through the seven, put a line through the bar under it. What do you get? A Lazy Eight and an hourglass. Makes sense to me. Who owns the Lazy Eight hourglass? Man by the name of Noonan. But I inspected the herd that I bought. The brands were not changed. Well, listen, Les. It's a good smooth job, too. You know, this is kind of awkward. I don't like to accuse the government of stealing my cattle, but tell you what, you give me back my herd, I'll drive it back to the ranch, and we'll just forget this ever happened. How's that? Good suggestion, Mr. Owen, but no deal. Private property is private property. Mr. Peterson, you have the right to impound his herd for three days. That's right. Then why don't you do it, and Stoney and I'll make a thorough investigation. What, make me wait three days? That's right. Then, if your claim proves to be legitimate, you get your herd back. You've got nothing to worry about. No. The government stole my cattle in the first place. How do I know I'll get a fair shake now? That's the chance you take. Maybe. All I know is I'm taking my herd. If I have to, the same way they took it from me. There's something about that guy. Seems like I've seen him before. Could be. You know, Pat, three days isn't much time. No, it isn't. Say, may I borrow your brand book for a while? Oh, sure. First thing we'd better do is go out and check the brands on those cattle. Then go over and have a talk with Noonan. Yeah, let's make sure they have been changed. Right. I don't understand it. The brands were blotted on every bunch we checked so far. What about it, Pat? All the same, Stoney. Circle 7 brands changed into Lazy 8 Hourglass. What do we do? Well, they're owns cattle, all right. Unless something new turns up, we'll just have to give the cattle back to him. Are you sure you didn't make a mistake and really buy stolen cattle? Look, I know my business. I didn't make any mistake. Well, it sure beats me. Pat. Come on, let's see what they want. I don't think so. Hey, you think they could be Owen's punchers? Might be worth the time to find out. Let's get a horse. All right.
I guess we lost them. Yeah, well, if they were Owens men, they were sure in a hurry to get those cattle back. Yeah. Say, why would a man like Owens with a legitimate claim want to pull a stunt like this? You know, maybe that claim isn't so legitimate. Yeah, it could be. Say, Stoney, I think we'd better backtrack this trail all the way back to Noonan's place at Colton. Well, we only got three days. We'd better hurry. Let's go. Come on. We traveled a lot of miles since we started out, but we were no near a solution. We had two days to go. I don't get it, Pat. Now, we followed one herd that came from there. It looks like another herd came from over there, and they met right here. Yeah. Remember, Peterson only bought one herd, and that came from Colton. Look at those tracks. Well, there's just as many tracks going back to Colton as came from there. What do you got? Broken horseshoe. Oh. Hey, look here, Stoney. The whole curve of this shoe's been rounded. No horse did that. Certainly didn't. Hey, this could be used for a running iron. Maybe, but I never saw a running iron that looked like that. Why not? Supposing you had a hide that had, say, an S, a rocky S. Look. There's the rocky nest. Yeah. All you do is to heat this iron. Continue the rocky part like that. Retrace the S and bring it across like that, and what have you got? Well, that's a circle eight. That's right. Hey, you know, that's a mighty handy little gadget. I'll have to make me one of them. Yeah? Well, if a peace officer catches you to do one of those, you'll land in jail. Are you going to arrest me? No. But if a cattleman catches you with one of those under your saddle, <laughs> he'll string you up before you can tell him your name. You know, I think finders keepers, losers weepers. I want no part of this. I think there's only one of them. Yeah? Here's one. Tony, you take both of my guns. Make him keep his head down. I'll try to get on the other side of the river. All right. Well, don't you want to take one of them? No, all I want to do is talk to him. Open right. up. Here goes. Stoney and I got to Colton that afternoon. No nearer to solving the case than we were the day before. The only thing we were sure of was that Uncle Sam was no cattle rustler. I'm Stoney Crockett. How are you? What can I do for you? We're brand inspectors, trying to straighten out that funny cattle deal. Oh, sit down, won't you? Hi. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Noonan's herd. 
I didn't think the government would go in for wrestling. We found a little curiosity down the trail. Thought you might be interested. Where'd you get this? On the cattle trail, uh, down by the lake in a two-day-old campfire. You know what it is, don't you? I sure do. See him? I found him with one of those out of the saddlebags. Did you, um... That's right. Did that stop the rustle? Well, that and my inspection service. I check every rider that comes into my county. Say about this Lazy Eight outfit. The one the government bought the cattle from. Well, John Noonan? Well, he's only been around here about a year, but he's got a clean bill of health so far. I checked the outfit just last week. If I could only remember. Remember what? Tony, they look familiar to me. That's the Walker boy. Yeah. When did you get that? Oh, it's been around here. Just came in from Texas. Well, uh, it says that one of them shoots left-handed. That sounds a little awkward, don't it? I don't know about that. Billy the Kid was left-handed. <laughs> That's right. I could only remember where I saw him. Oh, I'll think of it later. Say, uh, tell me, how do you get to this Noonan spread? Well, you take this road out of town, take the West Fork at the creek, and then straight ahead. Thanks. Quite a ride. See you later, Sheriff. Right. Good day, Sheriff. Thanks. We better get going. You're not going, Stoney. What do you mean, I'm not going, Stoney? Just that. Take this running iron over to the blacksmith shop. Oh, my goodness. If I get caught with this thing, you know what'll happen? <laughs> All right. Look, most blacksmiths know their own work. See if you can find out where that came from. All right, will do. If you get any evidence, bring the sheriff. I'll meet you at Peterson's office at the corral tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, if I'm not uh, hanging around someplace. If Owen shows up, stall him. Don't let him have the herd until I get back. Good luck. you are bigger than I am, there's no reason I am smaller than you are. Mother, this man wants to talk to you. Oh? <sighs> My God! Professor Frederick von Zerber Bowman, master of war? <laughs> Mesmerism, animal magnetism, hypnotic transit. Ah, you see, Fräulein, I, von Zerberman, was a pupil of the last living disciple of the great Mesmer. Mm, what kind of a mess is that? Oh, excuse me. I got kicked by a bronc a while back. Aha! Uh -huh. Precisely why I am here, madam. You see, with this hypnotic eye, patent on the miracle optic of the great Mesmer, you have the power of animal magnetism. Why do you keep it covered like that? Uh, because of its power, when no living creature could resist it, why, in a few seconds, all of you would be hypnotized. And what's that got to do with me? Just this, Holland. If you had used the hypnotic eye on that horse, applied animal magnetism, he would have done whatever you told him. Uh, held up his foot, kept his tail still. <laughs> but he would not have kicked you. Mmm, must be wonderful. He sounds good, Mom. Howdy, ladies, and... Uh... Uh, Professor Frederick von Zerbowman, if you please. Whatever you said. Say, he's cute. Now, as I was saying, with this hypnotic eye, all you have got no, to wait do. A Look, I, all you have to do is by just getting somebody to look at this thing, why, you can make them do whatever they want? <laughs> that is right, my hair. And please be very careful. It is it is powerful and very dangerous. Oh, I see. <laughs> please. No, no, you you should not do that. Because I was we he was get. What are you doing? I'm just giving him the eye. There. I think I got him under now. Let's see. Uh, 
You're a bird. Let's see you fly. Stop. All right, now you're a frog. Let's see a leap. <laughs> now you're a, a singing acrobat. <laughs> get up, get up. Get up, now, now, take the eye in your hand. There, right there, look at it. Now start walking and follow the eye wherever it leads you. <laughs> what can we do for you, dear boy? Boy? Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. I, uh, I guess a blacksmith can recognize his own uh, handiwork. Uh, is that one of yours? Don't recognize it. Don't think it's one of mine. Say, you're nice. Could I fix you a sandwich? Well, no thanks. Uh, how long are you going to be in town? Why? Because you remind me of my third husband, my favorite. <laughs> I did get over it when he left. I'm leaving right now. Well, wait a minute. Let me see that. Well, I know that shoe. I remember the cowboy asked us to make it wrong before we put it on. We couldn't imagine why. Who was he? I don't know. Well, who do you work for? John Noonan. Oh, the lazy eight hourglass friend. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, I'll have to tell you, ladies, I'm here on federal business. And if you'll put that in writing, you can testify to it later in court. Mm. Will you be there? Sure, I'll be there. Well, then I'd love to. <laughs> All right, mister, let that steer go. Drop your guns. No, we don't like wrestlers much around here. Turn around. Let's take him to the ranch house. So you claim you're not a wrestler, huh? That's right. And what were you doing in my Rocky Meadow? Then you must be Mr. Noonan. Mm -hmm. I'm a brand inspector. The sheriff can verify that. Brand inspector with handcuffs? <laughs> the sheriff better verify that. Because if he don't, we have a brand new rope that just needs stretching. I don't know how you do it, Mr. Noonan. Do what? Overgrazing your land like that. Still keeping your cattle so fat. What do you mean, overgraze? You just sold a big herd to the government, didn't you? you still got more head out there than your land will hold. Why, we've been doing some pen feed. Funny, I didn't see any pens when you brought me in. How long's it been since you've been in Texas? Well, I've never been there. Why do you ask? You remind me of a fellow I once knew there. You stay here and watch him, Jack. Right. Get to the sheriff and check your story. Let's go. Well, it's about time you got here. I had a little trouble with a Brandon inspector. You too? Yeah, you got that court order? Right here. Great. Let's go. Let's go get that hurt. Come on. Confounded Pat should be here. Well, there's still time before noon. Anyway, Owen hasn't shown up yet. He'll be here. So will Pat. Come on. What about my hands? Use your teeth. They're not tied. <laughs> you aren't so
come now. And no sign of Pat. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Mr. Peterson. Mr. Peterson, this is a court order giving me legal possession of my property at exactly 12 noon. Well, we're at 12 o'clock yet. Well, got about a minute to go. Texas. What? Yeah, and his left-handed brother's outside. Well, the lawmen couldn't take us, and neither can you. Get over there and stay over there. Come on, Dave. Take care of him, sir. Hey, better late than duck! I'll get that one. Finally caught up with you and your brother, doesn't it? Get up. Well, you sure had that pegged all right. The Walker brothers. Ah, that was a cinch. Once I saw both of them, I knew from the poster who they were. What about that cattle deal? Yeah, it's a little complicated, Stoney. You see, Noonan sold the Lazy 8 R glass herd to Peterson. Yeah. Well, that herd was never delivered. He drove that herd over and met Owens. There they changed the brand from the Circle 7 to the Lazy 8 Hourglass and delivered that herd to the government. Oh, I see. Then Noonan just turned his herd around, that's the one with the legal brand, and took it back home. Right. Making Uncle Sam look like he'd bought a Russell herd. Uh-huh. Ow! Gladys! Gladys, I told you, I'm not a horse. Sorry, lover boy. It'll be over in a minute. You can get a nice carriage. Karen, is that what you fed your third husband? No wonder he left. Now, let's not talk about him. Let's talk about my boy. You! He wants that away, Gladys. Go, go. Missed again. <laughs> 